What's up guys, it's Susie Bullock from HeyGrillHey.com and if you're watching this video, that means we already have one of the most important things in common. We both love good barbecue. And that's perfect because my whole goal at Hey Grill Hey is to help you make better barbecue so you can feed the people you love and become a backyard barbecue hero. Today we are doing my version of grilled pineapple. It's simple, it's a classic, but we're putting the Hey Grill Hey twist on it with some brown sugar, some maple syrup, and finishing with a sprinkle of sea salt. So let's do it. You really only need four ingredients for this dish. A pineapple, a quarter cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of maple syrup, and for the finishing touch, a sprinkle of sea salt. It's super simple. It'll serve about four to six people. Our first step is to trim and prep the pineapple. You start by taking the top off of your pineapple, the bottom off of your pineapple, and then you use that nice flat bottom as your base. Just run your chef's knife underneath the skin and cut down. You really wanna get rid of these eyes right here. Just like that. And go all the way around. One thing I really love about this dish is how quick and simple and easy it is. It really doesn't require a lot of time or ingredients and Normally we throw this on the grill for dessert after we pull off the main course. So we take off the burgers or we take off the steaks, clean off the grill, and then we throw the pineapple on while we have those nice remaining coals, nice medium heat, and it takes no time at all. Lay your pineapple down and then just cut these into half inch or three quarters of an inch thick slices. When we make this pineapple, we actually like to leave these woody centers in the middle. It helps keep your sliced pineapple intact on the grill. We leave them whole. You can take them out if you'd like to. Now we need to make our brown sugar and maple syrup paste. It's seriously so simple. Brown sugar in the bowl, maple syrup in the bowl, and mix it all together. If it seems a little thick, that's totally fine because what's gonna happen is as we spread this on the pineapple, the sugar is gonna draw out some of the moisture of the pineapple and it's gonna really become a lot more liquid. So you wanna start with it a little bit thick. Just use your spoon, put a little bit on each one of your pineapple slices and then go back with the back side of your spoon and spread it out across the top. We just want the sugar paste to be on there nice and smooth so that every piece of your pineapple has a little bit of that extra sweetness on it. Okay, flip your pineapple over, do the same thing on the other side. This pineapple is good enough to eat on its own as a side dish or an appetizer, but it's also really delicious as a dessert with a scoop full of ice cream. You can even drizzle it with a little bit more of maple syrup. It's so good. All right. These are ready to hit the grill. It's already preheated, about 350 degrees. These are going right on the grill grates over hot coals, or you can cook them on a gas grill. We just wanna get some nice caramelization on the outside and heat them all the way through. They're pretty quick. So let's go out and cook. Our grill's about 350 degrees. And these pineapple rings are just going right on to the grill grates. Smells so good. You can hear the sizzle of that sugar hitting the grill, dripping down onto the coals. That's all just flavor, baby. Your pineapple's gonna cook at different times based on how thick your slices are, where the heat is on your grill. So just stay close, keep an eye on them, flip them as needed. What you're really looking for is that color. Since this isn't raw meat, we're not shooting for a perfect internal temperature. We just want them to be the right amount of caramelization, that nice browning on the outside, and we want them to be heated all the way through. Oh, that's perfect. You can see the edges are really starting to caramelize. Get some nice color. So you can cook these on any grill, but I honestly think cooking them over charcoal is the way to go because as those sugars start to release from the pineapple, they start to drip down, they hit those hot coals, and then that steam releases that just adds another layer of flavor to these pineapples that you can't get cooking them any other way. See, this one's turning out perfect. You can see that nice golden caramel color on the outside, on both sides. That's gonna be delicious. These have been on about six minutes. We're starting to see some nice caramelization on the edges. Just give them a flip so they cook evenly on both sides. All right. 
pineapple is done. Time for our last step. Let's head inside. All right, finishing touch for this pineapple is just a little sprinkle of salt. Now, I know- Aloha. Aloha. I'm putting salt on pineapple, which might sound not delicious, but that little bit of savory will actually make the pineapple taste sweeter. A little salty to go with your sweet tongue. <laughs> Wanna try it? You don't need a knife. Super tender. I'm gonna wait for you. I'm oh, waiting. I'm waiting. Do it together. All right, we're gonna do it like this. Yep. <laughs> oh my Ooh. favorite. I you don't even you. need ice cream. Oh, it's sweet enough on its own. Mm. That's so good. All right, here's the deal, you guys. If you make this recipe, <laughs> take a picture, share it online, and tag us at Hey Grill Hey so we can see it because. Our whole goal is to help you make better barbecue so you can feed the people that you love and become a backyard barbecue hero. And we'd love to cheer you on. Yep. See ya.